All right, welcome back guys. My name is D and today we're gonna go over a couple of Paladin builds for Ragnarok Online. So let's start with the first one. So Paladins are generally a lot, um, have a lot of HP. They're generally tanky. The, this is due to Faith and a lot of like defensive abilities. So the first build is pretty much a Grand Cross uh, Paladin. So that's the reason you get 99 Int, a little bit of Dex, 90 Vit should be good enough, and a little bit of Strength. So Grand Cross takes its damage from Int, um, your attack, and the cast speed is based on your Dex. So with this build, you should be uh, around, the cast time for Grand Cross should be around 1.5, yeah, 1.4 seconds cast time. Should be good enough, you can just mob in um, at Raedrix, and you can just pretty much level on your own with this build. Um, for gears, pretty much up to you. Um, Paladins, um, for the gear, you want to go with um, Heidongums. This basically is a 120 attack weapon with 3 int. It has 2 slots. And you can just put Andre cards. Andre cards just increase the attack by 20. Which increases your Grand Cross. So you can actually put Zipper, zipper cards just for the additional 10. For a total of 30 attack if you prefer but with zipper cards if you um, do normal attacks or you're using shield reflect it will actually drain your SP so if you're gonna use shield reflect just go with um, Andre cards okay so for the accessories pretty much deck stuff Arlene's Zerum gloves and you should be set this is with buffs by the way alright let's go with the next one Alright, so for the next one, it's pretty much a Devotion Paladin. So this is a support class wherein you um, Devotion your allies and basically take damage for them. So pretty much similar to the Crusader build in the last video, but with this build you max out Vit just for HP, Dex, and get 92 Dex just for um, quick cast speed. The reason why you get 92 and not like 70 or 80 is so that you can actually devotion through precasts. So you can once you break through, you just um, devo your wizard or any unit, and they can do damage without getting hurt. So you have a little bit of strength just to carry more potions. And yeah, with this build, the reason why it's not even is because this is with three drops cards. And a golem card. The reason why you have a golem card is so that your weapon doesn't break and you don't lose that three dex bonus from the drops card. And why it's not balanced is because if you remove this weapon and your guild has a Mjolnir, you can actually use that to insta cast um, devotion with this build with buffs. So, yeah, it's pretty much solid. Um, I'd go for this one if you're planning on going for a devo build. Right, so for the next one, this is the Paladin I actually use in IRO Classic Loki. So it's pretty much a Gloria Domini um, Paladin. If you guys don't know what that is, that's basically an attack where it does 2k um, HP damage and I believe it does like SP damage too. So for this build, um, it's generally for um, breaking the frontline units in clashes. All you have to do is just stand in the frontline, class, cast Gloria Domini under braggies of your your guild's braggies, and then just take down the frontline. So usually the frontline units are biochemists, wizards. Uh, professors all you have to do is just to focus on them and if you have a group of uh, Gloria Domini Paladins you just take them out pretty quick with just like one second if you all spam it at the same time because uh, those classes usually have six to eight K HP 
Alright, so with this build, you go and max out Dex, max out Agi. And the reason you get Agi is if you're in Braggies, your skill delay is a lot lower based on your attack speed. So this will actually help you cast so fast. Uh, you can probably lower the Agi a bit um, to 90, get more strength. Or if you're like me that has access to GR or deviling gear you can put someone vit the reason why you have one vit is so that you don't get one shot in the front lines by um, acid bombs so with one vit their acid bombs won't do shit on you basically so for this your gear is since you have one vit you're pretty susceptible to stun and this is why you get 100 percent stun resistance so for that, I'm not quite sure if all servers have this. It's called Parade Hat and it basically gives you 10% um, stun resistance and it's slotted. You just equip a, a Selactic Golem card which adds additional 20% and then you get a slotted mid gear with the same card for a total of 50% uh, already and then you equip your Valkyrie Armor. So for Valkyrie Armor, uh, it actually gives you 50% 50, 50 stun resistance if you are swordsman, assassin, or merchant class, I believe. And for a total of 100, for some reason, it doesn't show up here. And it's mainly due to the parade hat. I think it's this uh, stat uh, calc is shown a different parade hat. This is not the one. But yeah, the one I'm referring to is the one that gives you, I believe, a sun show and that stun resistance. So yeah, uh, gear, just more deck stuff and yeah, just stun immunity. Alright, so it's pretty much the builds guys. If you have any questions, just put it in the comment section below. Let me know what other builds you want me to make. Um, it doesn't have to be like a particular, um, like doesn't have to be like a certain class you can just like think of like a um, melee wizard or something just let me know in the comments I'll try to make a, a guide for you guys and yeah thank you guys for watching if you I'd love it if you could hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and yeah, see you guys next time bye